Chuck Berry holds a pivotal role in the history of rock and roll, as nearly every singer or guitarist who has energized an arena owes a debt of gratitude to him. Recognized for helping to pioneer rock music, Berry codified many of its elements, shaping the template still followed by performers today. In this video we are going to too look at the untold story of Chuck Berry, rise to fame, prison time, and obsession with women. In the prolific period of 1955 to 1958, Berry produced classic hits like Maybelline, Roll Over Beethoven, School Day, Ring, Ring, Goes the Bell, Rock and Roll Music, Sweet Little Sixteen, and Johnny B. Good. These songs became the blueprint for rock, featuring dynamic electric guitar solos, spirited vocals, and lyrics reflecting the emerging teenage American culture. Barry's striking appearance, with a distinctive hairstyle and energetic stage presence, further contributed to his influence. In the early 1940s, at a high school talent show, Barry performed Jay McShann's bluesy, Confessant the Blues, a slightly risque choice for a teenager at the time. Despite the unconventional selection, Barry received an enthusiastic ovation from his peers. During the 1980s, Barry took an active role in managing the Southern Air, a restaurant near St. Louis. However, in 1990, allegations emerged that Barry had installed hidden cameras at the Southern Air and his estate, capturing inappropriate footage of women. While Barry avoided imprisonment, he faced a class action lawsuit and settled for $1.2 million, split among 59 accusers. The Southern Air closed, and Barry audaciously sued to retrieve his tapes. Around the same time as the scandal, Barry faced a federal drug bust in 1990. Authorities suspected him of using his musician status to transport illegal drugs, allegedly hidden in his guitar case. In 1977, Barry participated in a NASA project, contributing to the Voyager 1 and Voyager 2 spacecraft missions, aimed at exploring Jupiter, Saturn, and beyond our solar system. Known for his iconic duck walk, Barry's stage presence was groundbreaking, introducing one of the first signature movements in rock and roll history. Additionally, Barry was meticulous with his earnings, specifying in contracts that he be paid in cash before performances.